Fame Story TV family, and welcome back to our channel. In the last 24 hours, we have received the sad news of the passing of the extraordinary talents, and today's episodes is dedicated to honoring their memory. Before we start, I kindly ask for your support if this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your heart. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Judd Matheny was born on April 9, 1970 in United States. Matheny was an American Republican Party politician in Tennessee who served as county mayor for Coffee County, Tennessee from 2022 until his death in 2024. Previously, he represented the 47th district as state representative. His district included all or parts of Coffee, Warren counties. He served in the State House from 2002 to 2018. He succeeded Doyle Lewis. Metheny died at the age of 53, and his cause of death is unknown. Edward Piscor was born on July 28, 1982, in United States. Piscor was an American alternative comics cartoonist. Piscor was known primarily for his work on Hip Hop Family Tree, X-Men, Grand Design, and the Red Room Trilogy. Piscor also co-hosted the YouTube channel Cartoonist Kai Fabe with fellow Pittsburgh native cartoonist Jim Rugg. In March 2024, Piscor was accused of sexual misconduct by a fellow artist. From 2008 to 2011, Piscor published WYSIWYG, a comic book series about a young prodigy who becomes fascinated with social engineering, phone freaking, and eventually computer hacking. Piscor died at the age of 41, and he died from suicide. Joe Flaherty was born on June 21, 1941, in United States. Flaherty was an American actor, writer, and comedian. He is best known for his work on the Canadian sketch comedy from 1976 to 1984, on which he also served as a writer, and as Harold Weir on Freaks and Geeks, and for his role as Donald the Heckler in Happy Gilmore. Flaherty appeared in a number of cult favorite films, for example, playing the part of the Western Union postal worker who delivers Doc Brown's 70-year-old letter to Marty McFly in Back to the Future Part II, 1989, as well as the crazed fan yelling, Jackass, who secretly works for antagonist shooter McGavin in Happy Gilmore. Flaherty died at the age of 82, and he died from short illness. Thomas Farr was born on October 24, 1954 in United States. Thomas was an American attorney. He was nominated by President Donald Trump for a judgeship on the United States District Court for the Eastern District of North Carolina in 2017 and again in 2018. Thomas was considered a controversial nominee due to his alleged involvement in suppression of African American voters. On November 29, 2018, Republican U.S. Senators Jeff Flake and Tim Scott announced their opposition to Thomas' nomination. Together with unanimous opposition of Senate Democrats, this made it impossible for Thomas' nomination to be confirmed. Thomas died at the age of 69, and he died from heart problems. Vontae Davis was born on May 27, 1988 in United States. Davis was an American professional football player who played as a cornerback for the Miami Dolphins, Indianapolis Colts and Buffalo Bills of the National Football League. He played college football for the Illinois Fighting Illini and was selected by the Dolphins in the first round of the 2009 NFL Draft. He made two Pro Bowls in his career. Davis abruptly retired from the NFL in the middle of the Bills' second game of the 2018 season removing himself from the game at halftime. Davis died at the age of 35, and his cause of death is unknown. Maria Richwine was born on June 22, 1952, in Colombia. Richwine was a Colombian-born American actress 
who was also the first Latina Playboy bunny. Her first film role was as Buddy Holly's wife, Maria, in the 1978 biopic movie The Buddy Holly Story. Her performance received positive reviews. Newsweek critic David Anson commented, Her attractive performance suggests complexities of character that the script fails to explore. She was a regular on Norman Lear's 1984 series and also appeared in the television series. Richwine died at the age of 71, and her cause of death is unknown. John Lomax was born on May 16, 1951, in United States. Lomax was an American news anchor and reporter. Lomax started working at Local 12 as a reporter in 1983 and became a morning show anchor in 1990. Lomax co-anchored Good Morning Cincinnati for 32 years. He retired in April 2022. Lomax was in the Cincinnati Society of Professional Journalists Hall of Fame. Lomax was the first African-American male news anchor. Lomax died at the age of 72, and he died from pneumonia. Michael Knott was born on December 22, 1962, in United States. Knott was an American singer-songwriter and frontman for various bands, many of whom performed within the Christian rock genre. He released around 35 albums, including solo albums, and albums with bands such as LSU and Kush. He has been credited for pioneering the alternative Christian rock scene. Not was a painter, frequently signing his works under the name Gerard. His artwork has been used for cover art on many of his own releases, as well as releases by the choir, charity Impressa, and others. Not died at the age of 61, and he died from short illness. Terry Everett was born on February 15, 1937, United States. Everett was an American politician and a Republican member of the United States House of Representatives from Alabama's 2nd Congressional District. He served from 1993 to his retirement in 2009. On September 26, 2007, Everett announced his intention to retire at the end of the 110th Congress after the 2008 elections. He was succeeded by Bobby Bright, the first Democrat to represent the district since William Lewis Dickinson won it during the Barry Goldwater landslide in Alabama in 1964. Everett died at the age of 87, and he died from kidney failure. Robin Bernard was born on May 26, 1959, in United States. Bernard made her debut with a small role in Diva. She portrayed bit roles in Simon & Simon, Whiz Kids, and The Facts of Life. From 1984 to 1990, Bernard portrayed Terry Brock on General Hospital. Bernard's last credit was in Voices from the High School, 2002. Her credits also include Tour of Duty, May Gray, Roseline and the Lions, 1989, and Kings for a Day, 1997. She portrayed herself in The New Hollywood Squares, Our Magazine, and Win, Lose, or Draw. Bernard was the elder sister of singer and actress Crystal Bernard. Bernard died at the age of 64, and she found dead in California. David Brees Hears was born on December 20, 1955, in United States. Brees Hears was an American mountaineer, filmmaker, author, and motivational speaker. In 1985, he reached the summit of Mount Everest a second time, becoming the first American to reach the summit of Mount Everest more than once. He is perhaps best known as the director and cinematographer of film Everest, 1998, which became the highest grossing documentary and for his assistance in the rescue efforts during the 1996 Everest disaster, which occurred during the film's production. Brees Hears died at the age of 68, and he died naturally. Stephen Malcolm Ronald Nice was born on 27th of February 1951 in United Kingdom. 
Stephen Malcolm, known by his stage name Steve Harley, was an English singer-songwriter and frontman of the glam rock group Cockney Rebel. He had six UK hit singles with the band in the mid-1970s, including Judy Teen, Mr. Soft, and the number one Make Me Smile. Harley was introduced to the poetry of T.S. Eliot and D.H. Lawrence, the prose of John Steinbeck, Virginia Woolf, and Ernest Hemingway, and the music of Bob Dylan, which pointed him to future careers involving words and music. Harley died at the age of 73, and he died from cancer. Matthew Joseph Urango was born on February 14, 1990, in United States. He professionally known as Cola Boy, was an American musician and activist based in Oxnard, California. His music has been described as belonging to the disco genre. He compared his sound to a disco ball melting or the after effects of some particularly potent hallucinogenics. Cola Boy released the single of Penny Girl in 2018. The track was ranked number 72, 100 best songs of 2018. Cola Boy died at the age of 34, and his cause of death is unknown. Kevin Tony was born on April 23, 1953, in United States. Tony was an American jazz pianist and composer who was a member of the Blackbirds. Tony recorded several albums as a solo musician. His album Strut was selected as official music by the Winter Olympic Committee of 2002. He performed at the Playboy Jazz Festival and at festivals in Denver, Long Beach, and Pasadena. Tony died at the age 70, and he died from cancer. Chris Simon was born on January 30, 1972 in Canada. Simon was a Canadian professional ice hockey left winger who played in the National Hockey League and Continental Hockey League. Simon known as an aggressive player, he was suspended eight times for a combined total of 65 games during his NHL career. Simon was a member of the Washington Capitals when they went to the Stanley Cup Finals in 1998. He had been enjoying great offensive success that season until a shoulder injury knocked him out for much of the playoff run. He underwent season-ending shoulder surgery in December 1998. He was the team's leading goal scorer in the 1999-2000 season with 29 goals in 75 games. Simon died at the age of 52 and he died from suicide. Michael Emmett Walsh was born on March 22, 1935 in United States. Walsh was an American character actor who appeared in over 200 films and television series, including supporting roles. According to his manager Sandy Joseph, Walsh's tremendous body of work includes 119 feature films and more than 250 television productions. On television, Walsh appeared as Alex Lembeck a motorcycle cop who appointed himself as Sandy Stockton's chaperone and protector in 1972. Walsh also made occasional guest appearances on Home Improvement as Tim Taylor's father-in-law in 1994. Walsh died at the age of 88 and he died from heart attack. Neely Cherkovsky was born on July 1, 1945 in United States. Tchaikovsky was an American poet and memoirist who resided from 1975 onwards in San Francisco. Tchaikovsky was the author of Whitman's Wild Children, a collection of essays about 12 poets he had known. This book combines biography, personal stories, and poetry analyses. Tchaikovsky was a writer-in-residence at the New College of California in San Francisco. Tchaikovsky was awarded the 15th Annual Literary Award in 2005. In 2017, he was awarded the Jack Mueller Poetry Prize by Lithic Press. 
Tchaikovsky's papers are housed at the Bancroft Library, University of California, Berkeley. Tchaikovsky died at the age of 78, and he died naturally. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.